Hi, I'm Carlotta Waldman and I'd like to welcome you to Crosswalk Life and Now Faith TV. We designed Crosswalk Life so that it's like a library. As you look down that left site menu, you'll be able to see a lot of the articles on the site, but not all, because there's about 300. And there are many free podcasts as well. Also, at Now Faith TV, we have our archives. The archives of broadcasts that have gone out over Crosswalk Talk, uh, with a live Christian call-in show or the radio, or on the internet. Also, the broadcast that we've created for Now Faith TV Ministry Training School. So those are the main two branches, Crosswalk Life, where you have the library of articles, and also Now Faith TV, where you have the, uh, the podcasts and the broadcasts and the archives. Now, those of you that would like to subscribe to that, you can access, it's basically any podcast or broadcast we've ever had, whole seminars, whole Bible courses, live demonstrations, and also teachings by others that would share with you things like how to hear God better, how to know His voice, how to step out in your gifts and callings, how to have that breakthrough anointing. So it's easy. You can subscribe to Now Faith TV. And instead of paying hundreds or literally thousands of dollars for ministry training, having to relocate, <laughs> sell your home, uproot your family, that you are able to do that right at home. And I believe that this is our calling to help you get the teaching and training and equipping that you need to be a part of God's Great Commission Army, a part of building His kingdom right at home in the sphere of influence that He has given you. So what we've done is we've made it, made it as absolutely inexpensive as possible. Ten dollars. So would you come back for more? Now you've been through our six sessions of Restoration Prayer Ministry, and that's a great start. I'd like to inv invite you to come back for more, to intern or to be trained, to minister to others. I would, especially because the own, uh, I mean, my the, the verses that the Lord had given me, like Psalm 116, 16, where he says I must articulate that I am his daughter and that he has lost my bones. I could not do this. I could read the verse, you know, I could pray the verse, but knowing that there are ungodly beliefs and that they come in many forms. There are just so many things that people ought to know. Yes. And also to know about the vows that I made. Some of them being vows that I'm making as a Christian that I will never, never this. God telling me that never doesn't exist in his, in his world. He's a God of all possibilities. Amen. All these things need to be learned. So I feel that the reason why I would come back is to learn how to help other people know God's plan for their life, know what He means when He says we must have the consciousness that is in Christ, that it's about knowing godly beliefs, articulating them with our words. Your words are power when they are connected to God's words and His word for your life. Amen. To tell people those things those and actually to be a testimony to say that you it doesn't matter who you are you could be doing whatever job you could be a professor you could be but when the devil has has made a decision that he will terminate what God's plan for your life he works very hard to do that and you yourself in your own in being taught you must be taught a lot about how to break these vows I'm concerned about women who have committed suicide because maybe they feel unloved. And when I think about those things, uh, about how, the lies of the devil, I feel more committed to coming back so that I can help. Because I feel the area of women's lives is what God has taught me. He has taught me the book knowledge about it. But I think now he wants me to learn about the spirit. The spirit of love that abounds in the world that is from Him and that is for everybody and that we all have to be connected Hallelujah. with the Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm looking forward to not only receiving you back again, but maybe going with you. Want to get healed? Yes. Yes? Would you rather somebody else volunteer for this one? You sure? 
It's not that number one thing, is it? <laughs> the only one. <laughs> I confess the sin of my ancestors, my parents, and my own sin of performing for acceptance. I choose to forgive and release them for the sin, the curses, and the consequences in my life. I ask you to forgive me, Lord, for the sin. See, there's no argument about whether it's generational or not. The Lord's opening his eyes and ears and he can see the impact that it's had. For yielding to it and to the resulting curses. Thank you, Lord. This is why we have a passion to destroy the works of the enemy. I receive your forgiveness. Thank you, Lord. On the basis of your forgiveness, Lord, I choose to forgive myself. Jesus. For Bob. the sin and curses of performing for acceptance. I break this power from my life and from the lives of my descendants through the intensive work of Christ Amen. on the cross. Amen. I receive God's freedom from the sin and from the resulting curses. I receive unconditional love and I receive the fact that you accept me as a mess. I think we said something earlier about him loving you too much to leave you the way you are. <laughs> but Jesus died for all of us to restore us. Even as I first arrived and came down this little lane here to my lovely guests, I was reminded of the importance of relationships, how we met over the Internet and through referrals from other people that had been blessed by the Lord's work through Crosswalk, that these relationships have built and have formed, and God is networking us with people all over the world, literally all over the world for His purposes, to bring about His plans, to renew hearts, and to restore lives, and to build ministries that will reach a hungry and dying world. And it's our privilege to be a parachurch ministry and to partner together with you. And we just thank you for your hospitality when you invite us to come and to minister to those, to help you water the seed that you've already sowed, and to believe God for a multiplication of that process for His glory and for His honor as we build the Great Commission Army. She just has a heart to teach everyone, and she has a, a website, and she's got things on here where you can see that's an incredible resource. I refer people to it all the time when I talk to them. It's just amazing what she has available there and how she just gives out her heart and everything that the Lord has taught her. Mm -hmm. I found her on the internet. Um, and I won't go through that whole story, but I found her. I was looking for something else and I found her and immediately, um, oh, I knew this woman has a heart that my heart can connect with and she has a lot to teach me. And I ended up going to her home in Ohio. Um, people told me, you are going to stay with a stranger. Um, but, you know, the Lord told me, yeah, it's okay, go. Um, and so I spent four days in her home with prayer ministry. She does restoration prayer ministry, which is about 18 hours, and you'll learn more about it. And that's what she's doing here in Georgia for three weeks. She's ministering in that way to some of the folks on our team. Mm -hmm. So, well, let's see. That's the restoration prayer ministry. She's also probably going to talk to you a little bit about tearing down personal strongholds. It's a course that she has on the Internet. 
and it's um, full of information. And she also has teachings from the Elijah, is it called Elijah House School? There, which if any of you are familiar with the Elijah House, I mean, it's just an incredible resource mm -hmm. for pennies. For pennies, it's actually pennies. Ten dollars a month. Uh, it's just unbelievable the resources there. So she's here now. She, um, she's just, a, you'll know by the end of the day. She's just an incredibly anointed and gifted woman. But that's not all. Because so many of us are incredibly anointed and gifted women. But she's walking it out. Okay? That's the difference. When we have to just be inspired by women who are doing that, or people who are doing that. She's walking out. She's using her gifts to build up the body of Christ. And that's why I'm so incredibly thankful for her. And she is an inspiration. And you will um, be blessed today, I promise. No doubt about it. It's a, it's a guarantee. Money back, I know. You'll be blessed, I promise. <laughs> what heart is you that God wants you to believe will be healed or set free today? And write it down. That's faith. Really write it in. Because you're you're going to give this paper to someone that's going to pray for you in this room, preferably somebody you don't know all that well, so they won't have all this other agenda they think you need to do. They can just focus on what you put down. I want you to pick something that the Holy Spirit is highlighting to you and expect God to work today. Put something in that blank. Don't look at me like cows looking at a new gate. <laughs> Now I'm looking at what? At a new gauge. <laughs> what, is, what is this? Where does it go? This goes into this, right? <laughs> you may feel that way, but God is faithful and He is telling you something. We are, we are a room full of real people. I uh, went through the three day one on one ministry with Carlotta a week before last. Mm. And God really showed me a lot of things, but the biggest thing He showed me was that um, I had put a curse on my own eyes. And because of that, I have an eye disease that's taking my vision, but no more, because I'm being healed from that, because God gave me that revelation that um, I had cursed my eyes because I heard my mother say something about my eyes weren't a pretty color. It was so real to me. The, uh, this revelation was so real that the next morning when I went to my makeup mirror to put my makeup on, I could not believe the color of my eyes. And uh, nobody else saw any difference. But I had been hating my eyes. God is a good God. And I'm so thankful to Him for this ministry and for what it's done in my life. And that's just one little bitty thing that happened in my three days. And how many of you will show by show of hands show her that you will agree with her for the finished people? Yes. 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 And it will help if we will all choose to receive all of our body parts as God made them. Now, if, we, if He says you've made it worse, then we can deal with it. <laughs> as God made them, we need to choose to receive ourselves and not turn on ourselves. I believe it's a done deal. Yes. 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 <laughs>